Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. Since 1949, Ruger has embodied the spirit of hunting in America. Ruger firearms are built to deliver the reliable and accurate performance that seasoned veterans demand and new hunters can trust. At Ruger, we believe that hunting is about more than just the thrill of the chase. It's about the freedom and opportunity that come with it. This is our heritage, and this is Ruger. Sorry. We are live from the NSSF Shot Show. Welcome to the Wild Nun Cut Podcast. Um, I'm with my homies here. Yeah. I got we got a birthday in the house. <laughs> <laughs> we got Miss Narissa Harmon. Uh, happy birthday to you! Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Do we dare say how old you are? No. no. Oh, no. why would you do I that? I did on social media. It's you fun. did? Yeah, I don't give a You crap. put that on the internet? Yeah, and did you see what I posted? I didn't even do a birthday like, post I for I, I feel I, like. I, did I, I even tell you happy birthday I saw today? it. Well, it was yesterday. <sighs> day before. No, it was, well, it was really definitely behind. Sunday. It was oh, Sunday. Yesterday, day today. before. I don't even know. Um, I literally did a post on telling people what, like, wisdom. And the first part that I started with, did you read it? I read it. It was awesome. It says, I'm 46 years old today. I remember hearing that and thinking it was so old. It is and then, serious. Seriously, right? <laughs> right? Okay. But Shut the first up, you p- young one. <laughs> but the first part I said, smoking weed makes you lazy and mm-hmm. messes with your brain cells and causes dementia. Quit that crap. <laughs> and then the second part is like, alcohol's the devil. And you never make good decisions after the fourth drink. It usually downhill from there. What and did I you tell t- you for years? I, I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> Who she didn't have has to be been told. preaching? <laughs> Who has been preaching? Hey, well, Christy show rules. Okay. Nothing yeah. good ever happens after midnight. After midnight. midnight. After and that midnight. is a fact. Hey, that is literally, is I fact. have carried that since you told us at the very first shot mm. show. I literally. You carried yeah. that straight to the bar with me. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, and then, well, like, four years later, she's like, you should really just, we should go back to the room. And I was like, what? And now <laughs> I'm like, she's like, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, as soon as we're done podcasting, PJs and, and food. Bed. Yeah. Bed. Well, okay. So let me introduce <laughs> okay. the rest of our okay. guests. Let's get okay. right. So we got Narissa Harmon birthday. Yeah, thank we you. got the thank queen you. of country music. Miss yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Mills. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we got my homie. Miss Jen O'Hara, the Woo-hoo! mommy of the year uh, and um, firearms instructor extraordinaire, fellow all the Ruger stuff. brand ambassador, yeah. and just the most homesteady y little homesteader <laughs> you ever met. <laughs> always trying, always. That's my group. This is we have been doing this. What did we decide? What 2011 our 2011 was our first I looked shot it show. up. Okay. Yeah. So because that was the first year that we were all you know together, we, yeah, we, I asked her. We all met at the women. Yes. Gun or women we were there last night. It, that, the, the that restaurant. Yeah. yeah. We mm-hmm. were there last yeah. night. Women yeah. of the gun or something yeah. like that. And yeah, that was our first night. Yeah. I think I remember. Actually, this is the funniest thing. I should look it up. But I, I posted something on Twitter and I private messaged you. And I was like, hey, are you going to be at SHOT Show? No joke. You I'll have to look it up. slid into her DM. I slid into Ooh, your you DM. So, you I don't, so did I answer your time? You? Yeah. I don't even remember Here, wait. I got to find this. it. I'll find it. You oh, guys keep this talking. This was sliding when into the DM before that, this was a thing. Because I was looking because I was trying to figure out how long has it been. And it's 24. Look at I messaged you. I slid into your DM. How'd you oh find that so Look at 2014. But we were here before then. We met. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We met before. But. Yeah, and then we we met we messaged back and forth. Looking forward to seeing oh. you at Shot Show. Aww. Aww so what it. year did we meet officially? 2011. 2011. Okay, you guys, that's so many Shot Shows. That's like, re- I feel like we can come up with a wisdom book. 
<laughs> like oh. shot. Like I have shot a whole shot. bunch of them. <laughs> I got it. We're gonna do a coffee, a coffee book, a coffee. <clears throat> table a coffee book. talk. Let's do some coffee, coffee talk right now. Okay. Coffee. Like <laughs> hacks, tips, and trips for this younger generation, these new shot show newbies, to give to pass our wisdom on that we've learned throughout the years. Okay. Number one rule. What is it? You already said it. Nothing no, good, good ever happens, happens after, after midnight. midnight. But there's lots of fun after midnight. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> it ain't good. It Just ain't not good. anymore. It ain't good. It's been years. <laughs> I mean, we've done it. <laughs> we've but lived you to tell shouldn't the tell. do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let us learn the lessons the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. What's another one? What's the number two? Uh, Wear tennis shoes or bring them with you because my feet hurt. Yeah. I saw someone, a, a woman in a booth today, and she had heels on. I said, this has got to be your first shot. She <laughs> said, it is. How did you know? Yeah. Those shoes. Yeah. Give it up. High heels, girl. Those shoes. I literally wore new shoes today, and they're my boots. And I was like, oh, these are so cozy. Mm, you, yeah. you broke in new I know, shoes. Oh my but God. they were so cute. But <laughs> Rule no. number three. <laughs> don't, don't wear, wear new, new shoes. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Rule number four. This is a good one. And I can't remember who told me this back in the day. But... You, when you get to your room in between, cause we walk all day, we're standing on our feet when you get to your room, you know, normally have to put on heels and go out at night. Yeah. So you have that hour mm-hmm. or so take off all your shoes, go to your headboard and prop your feet up on oh. the headboard of your bed. I never did that. Well, it works. It helps the feet survive. Mine was never that. Mine was always take a nap. <laughs> it was. Because I'd had like four hours of sleep the night no. before. <laughs> if I'm taking a nap. Sayonara. <laughs> that no. ain't happening. You're not coming power back nap. out. You're out. Uh, You're done. Uh, yeah. It's game over. Yeah. It was always power nap and then go out. But I will say, so we say nothing good happens after midnight, but how many business, business deals, deals and people had I met? We had a couple cocktails. People relax. You get to be like, hey, how are you doing? I'm Jen. I'm not scared to talk to you. It's in a relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. It's totally different. But there is a switch that almost gets flipped, and you can see it. <laughs> and it happens between 12 p.m. and 1 a.m. Mm, okay. Yeah. Glaze. It's it's a glaze that goes over people's yeah. eyes, yeah. and they become a, like a different human. And yeah. you mm. sometimes don't like this new version of them that is yeah. lightly more um, robust than they yeah. would normally be during mm-hmm. the day. And right. then the next day when you see them, you secretly think actually I, I hate who you are as a human yeah <laughs> and you're talking to them and you're like hmm I saw who you really are last night <laughs> <laughs> good. speaking of that I just realized this is like a light bulb moment for me we say nothing good happens after midnight I've been with my husband we got married in April the whole crew was there yeah but we've been together for 10 years we first kissed Shot show 10 years ago. Oh my god, in Las Vegas after midnight. <laughs> oh, but we know that was you were you were saucy. <laughs> there were some adult beverages, I might have been overserved. <laughs> It that, night. It, that wasn't your I fault. really think it's the waitress's fault. <laughs> yeah. It's totally so. the waitress's Andrew fault. Andrew was also mm-hmm. probably overserved. Yeah. 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 Fun little story about that. He was a gentleman. Walk me to my room. He would be. Uh, walk me to my room. <laughs> He's like, girl, I'm going to walk <laughs> you <laughs> to your room. Maybe it was. Maybe his intentions <clears throat> weren't so uh, <laughs> gentlemanly. Walks me to my room. You can't. You know, I took off my shoes. We're going back. Our feet hurting. <laughs> Always. Gosh, Circling back. Yeah. I took off my shoes. Every lady knows you take off your shoes after a long day, you can't put them back on. No. Because, like, your feet swell. They like, yes. yes. Like an elephant. You're just, oh. <laughs> you can't fit that back in there, mm-hmm. right? So we start it's like walking. like a sponge. Yeah. yeah. You start, I'm just plat, 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 plat on the marble. Security guard says, ma'am, you cannot come in here. You can't go up to your room unless you put on shoes. It's against our policy. <laughs> no I was like, way. sir, this is, like, physiologically impossible. <laughs> Andrew goes, I got it. He takes off his boots. With his socks on, I put his boots on. I'm like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no, <laughs> sir. Now you don't have any shoes. <gasps> you have to it. have shoes. So he, we're trying to make this work. This guy's just hassling us, right? Yeah. Andrew squeezes his big old feet. Oh no, somehow he did not into my high heels, just the tips, and he was walking around holding me, no! walking around <laughs> like a baby giraffe, like, <laughs> and he's just walking by, like, <laughs> to the guy. 
we click that click is the best the how we never heard that story i, I have heard this story once i have heard the story oh, it was at your oh bachelorette party you told the mm. story yeah oh my that god was that the first awesome. night. Oh, and it happened after midnight at a shot <laughs> show so. uh, okay 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 that was one good thing saying i broke the rules and here we are yeah there and, can be and now there's a baby the rules. oh Oh, <laughs> you just did the B drop. Wait, I thought that we could do We're it. doing it. Oh, I was like, just did it. Are we launching well, it later? Yeah. Yeah. We okay. Are okay. Later. I was like, okay. and then there's But well. this is the real deal here. We're sitting in our room. Jen is staying with me and Yogi because we're real close like that. <laughs> I just said today, whenever anybody asks me with a weird look, I'm like, Yogi's like my brother. Well, okay. So mind you that Ruger had two people canceled. They had two paid for rooms. You could have had your own room, but we're still here. <laughs> we have a mini fridge here, a yeah. medical, medical fridge full of refrigerated breast milk and frozen <laughs> breast milk from you because she's pumping every five minutes. And then we got one over here that's got one cooking. Woo! Yeah, oh, sure, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the official like launch on the podcast, no, everybody. I yeah. have been waiting for somebody else to be pregnant. <laughs> like, please, <laughs> well, it's not be just us. me. I know. <laughs> I mean, I tried to like. No. Come on, I'm like, okay, Morgan, you're my last hope. Yeah, because. They, no. Yeah. And no. We got the Call Her Daddy podcast. This is the Call Her Mommy. You don't have to be a mommy. You can also be a mommy. mommy. And then you got your papi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Next will be, uh, what did we say on our text chain? I'll be teaching you how to use the breast pump. Oh, but we bre- should do that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breastfeeding Just 101. Hold on. Tutorial. This will be similar to when Jen teaches women how to concealed carry in leggings and use the toilet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's prime content right there. It is virtual, prime like content. viral content <laughs> that lasts forever. But let's see how big is this baby. Yeah, how big is it right now? How big is a baby? We okay. Wait, I don't know. We've not done a baby. Actually, I have the app. Everybody knows the app. There's a few of them. I've got Flow, which is entirely too expensive. I I overpaid for that, but it's worth it because I get to find out what fruit I have every week. I love that. The baby (laughs) is the size of comparable fruits. Yes. All right. Is it a pineapple? No, it's not. No, gosh. That's and you were gonna look. How many weeks weeks are you? It's loading. I'm 23 weeks. Okay. So it's it's loading the fruit now, but oh here we are. I hate to tell you, but you have nineteen weeks left. I know. And it's already it's already <laughs> getting rough. <laughs> She's just over half. He is the size it's a he. He is the Ooh, size. Oh, we just a- did a gender reveal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, I could not bear a gender reveal. Like, really? There, come on. I'm just over them. Seeing okay. them on the internet. See, but I you just... had the bougiest bachelorette party I've ever seen. You couldn't handle a gender I reveal. Couldn't handle another event. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's another event. That's yeah. what it yeah. is. It's the event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. He is a squash. Oh. Like He's, acorn squash? Can I see what kind that? Of a small squash. He's 12 inches, though, from mm-hmm. crown to heel. 12 inches. About a pound, 1.3 pounds. Mm. Well, what kind of squash, though? Is it like a butternut yeah, squash? Acorn. Like acorn. I imagine squash. acorn. Acorn. Yeah, yeah, I imagine acorn. Oh, the yellow one. But let me tell you, <laughs> he feels like a watermelon. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Jen's laughing. She's like, girl, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> You're not going to be able to breathe. I'm like, <laughs> she's just over to... halfway. You're going to be peeing your pants here pretty soon. It all will... this baby pressure on your bladder. <laughs> You're oh going to be God. like, hey, shot show hack. Don't forget your poise pads. <laughs> <laughs> when you're running around. Let's get a sponsor. We'll get a sponsor for the podcast. <laughs> poise oh <my> pads. <laughs> <laughs> for us old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> All um, the mummies. Okay, but and you mummies. are gonna. It's about it. You're almost. You're like really close to the miserable mm-hmm. part. It's coming. I she know hasn't coming. been miserable though. She. It's been no, easy. Fleet. It's Hashtag like third blessed. trimester. It literally is like a week after third trimester, and I was the same way. I was like, it was fine. Besides that, I was super sick the first. Second was awesome, and then I reached over into third trimester, and I was like, I, don't, I remember I was at Shot Show. And I sent my husband, I'd been gone for two weeks at shows, and I sent him a picture of my stomach, and he's all, oh, my gosh. I'm like, I know it popped. It's kind of like where you're at. And then, uh, but I was doing March. You're May? 
May. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and then all of a sudden it was just there and I was miserable. I was in, that was the first start of me never going out again. (laughs) I know. It was so weird though. (laughs) Five years ago. I remember traveling with her after she had the baby and she traded beer bottles for breast pumps and milk bottles. Literally, it was like an overnight transformation. <laughs> it was. It was like, it was. no more, no more crazy Jen. It mm. went from crazy Jen to mom boob. Fun Jen. Fun Jen. Fun Jen was like, she's gone. She gone. She gone. She literally Left. would get her cowboy boots and dance on tables. And I I'm like, just I would say. a chew, I chewed. Oh. I mean, I was like, yeah. dipping the whole time. I, I wouldn't hang out with that. you guys. I was scared of you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> This is a fact. This is where we met, like the World Turkey Hunting Championship, <laughs> dancing, singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We show up. We show up in an Impala, <laughs> blasting freaking like Snoop Dogg or something. Yes, right? we did. Were we blast- we oh blast- no, we were blasting. Red, 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 red. Redneck. The that was yes. so good. Oh, that was really boys popular. round here. Yeah. Oh, they didn't and then that you did your own version, gold, Jen, man. round here. I haven't heard yeah, that something song like in that. a long time. Or you say girls round here. You changed the whole thing. When we first met, for some context here for those listening. Oh, yeah. When we first met, we were, it was at the World Turkey Hunt Championship when me and Jen and Narissa, I was working. Um, and the girls had, it was 50 teams that were locked in. They were the only all-female turkey hunting team. And a team member dropped out. Yep. So you guys already paid to be in it. You were there. You're like, I guess we just won't hunt. We'll just come and network and hang out. And I was like, funny thing is, I always have my hunting clothes. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So we. I have we, that picture on my wall at my house. And that three morning, that morning, they couldn't get a, a, a truck, like a rental truck. <laughs> so they had to rent a Chevy Impala, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> We didn't get anything, <laughs> but if we did, we've got to strap it to the top. Do no, you know it how, in the trunk. Do you know how <laughs> it ridiculous? Gone in the trunk. <laughs> I've never not driven a truck in my, I mean, I am country. <laughs> and we pull in in this stupid Impala and there's all these jacked up trucks. And I look at Narissa and I'm like, no, like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> that, that hurt your heart. That hurt your pride. It was like, we are not cool. I was like. But then you owned it and you rolled the windows down at like four in the morning. It was still pitch black outside and you were playing red and the girls around here drinking that ice cold beer. And I was like, we're going to be friends no, we all for a very had, long time. We showed up and we all had makeup on. And so we I were like, that. oh, man, this is love. Love at first sight. <laughs> yeah. Like literally. And now then, Jen never wears makeup. No, no never. never. No. no, usually I'm in a mom bun and. You will see you. Well, you guys are about to see on Living Outdoors. <laughs> and I'm like, literally, I told Marissa, I'm like, I should probably doll myself up occasionally because usually it's just mom bun and no makeup. It's okay. scary. This is a good season. I've it's always been. Season. I've always been pro wearing makeup hunting. I know it can be controversial. It's like, mm-hmm. why are you wearing? I don't care. I'm like, listen. Yeah. Right from the woods to the catwalk, baby. Do you know when I don't wear makeup? When you sleep. When I'm in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing makeup when I'm in the shower the rest of the time I have on makeup okay so let's let's talk about this because honestly I we have had a lot of hate or slack for people giving us feedback you should be wearing makeup or you should be wearing peak pink and I feel like we have the next generation of hunters coming up Right. right and we don't I feel like you just empower each other and encourage each other to you wear do whatever, you, right? do whatever you want. Yeah. If you want to wear makeup, yeah. great. If you want to go, I don't know how many animals we've hunted in pink, do it. You don't have to be. And been on successful hunts while successful. wearing the pink all over the world. Yeah, all over the world. But I just people don't support each other as much yeah. anymore. And that's one of the things like our sisterhood is yeah. we support each other. We're all in the same industry. We're all out there being hunters and wanting to be a part of something like, let's support each other. We're it's just not like women doing it. It's men. Yeah. There's some women There's out men. there that are kind of mean. It's the men that Listen, are like, oh, yeah. it's everybody. It's human nature. And yeah. shaming is so last year, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. This isn't the Mean Girls Club anymore. No, okay. no, no. I don't do Mean Girls. No. I mean, this is yeah. the Crazy Girls Club. <laughs> <laughs> you come to the party, the crazy <laughs> party. But yeah, no, I feel like if you want to wear... Makeup, wear makeup. If you want to, yes. if you want to hunt in pink, wear, wear it. Do it. You, you know? do you. You do mm-hmm. you. Live Enjoy your yourself. life. Live your life. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm glad we went there. Well, yeah, we have a lot of younger girls that follow us, so I don't. You know, I want to. 
make sure that we pave the way. We've had awesome people that paved the way for us in this industry. Yes, right? Even you, that. you shared that last night. That was wonderful on your post about the Gundys, right? We have a lot of people that have paved the way for us, and we need to do that for the next generation. Love that. Let's yeah. talk about Christy and the Gundys. Yeah. You presented last night. I did you with the fine. lovely Miss Jules McQueen. Love yeah, her. Yeah, yes. love her. Miss President of Carbon TV. She's amazing. Yeah. And Carbon TV is a great partner for us, um, yeah. mm-hmm. for your living outdoors and for me, for Pursue the Wild. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was such an honor, you know, taking home a Gundy Award. Morgan, you were there a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like voters, like online content creators get voted on by people that watch them mm-hmm. for this award. And, and I won the top out or best outdoorsman two years ago. And this year I was nominated. I made top five for most influential female. I didn't win. I had no expectation of winning, though. I mean, there are some incredible women that just to be named in the same yes, sentence with exactly. is just, you know, very... Um, very I, it just leaves me kind of speechless I don't even know how to phrase it but it, like some of these women are like a million followers or you know these huge platforms that you really look up to and and uh yeah that was pretty awesome so I was yeah you know, made that yeah I love that you awesome. also presented too yeah because you know this ain't your first rodeo you've been fun. doing this so long mm-hmm. so is Jules mm-hmm. and I feel like that too was like a great recognition of what you've done yeah you know, just to get up there and, and present. What award did you present? We presented Best Outdoorsman. That's oh. awesome. Mm-hmm. So cool. it was pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. And, and there's just the, the YouTube creators, it's really like such a different world than like TV creators. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I think, you know, back in the day when YouTubers came out, there was a lot of like, oh, there are YouTubers. Oh. Yeah. And there was a little bit of condescending tone around YouTube content, which I'm a YouTube creator. So, yeah. <laughs> and I have been since day one. But there, there has always been like this almost, I feel like, kind of condescending tone from maybe some television creators yeah. on that. These YouTube creators are crushing television now. I mean, it is Mm -hmm. crazy. People love the realness and the rawness of what the Mm -hmm. individuals in that room are doing. And Mm. they're the strong voices of the Second Amendment. They're strong voices for American, like, politics in general. You know, gun ownership, shooting sports, hunting. Mm -hmm. And they're reaching people that we never thought were even possible. The, the scales of audiences yeah. is just mm-hmm. massive. Massive. Um, they're some of the most important people in in the firearms topic, in hunting, in Second Amendment, in, in the world, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the people in that room was just is crazy. Just to be in that room was awesome. Yeah. And it, they've really, those creators being them, being wild, being crazy, being eccentric, blowing stuff up, teaching, empowering they have really like just transformed so much on the yeah. media standpoint. It's it's been such a cool trans like yeah. transformation since we all got in the game. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. I think we've all seen it too. You yeah. know, been a part of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Different oh, facets. you got a YouTube show. <laughs> oh, you know, before it was that, and it's like, geez, now they got a, they got a YouTube show. And did you see how many followers they have? Yeah. So the tone is really it's like changed. You don't have a YouTube show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not on YouTube. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> you need to be on YouTube. Well, just the fact, though, that they have the, these awards, you mm-hmm. know, and that they're mm-hmm. showcasing it mm-hmm. and recognizing you guys. And I mean, it's a lot of work. People do mm-hmm. not, I mean, just this podcast alone, there's three cameras here, <laughs> you know? And a couch. And a couch. <laughs> I mean, just couch. all the stuff that goes behind the scenes, yeah. people don't realize. I mean, we have Yogi, Yogurt. Um, Shout out to Yogi. Yo, what's up? He's uh, a husband. <laughs> the husband of jerk. I hope when you edit this, you just pop him on the screen. Like I was going to say, <laughs> hold on. And like a little picture of him. Hold yeah, on. Let's take a picture of Yogi behind the scenes. He's gonna, ah, loving his is. life. Yogi, what That's do you think Yogi. of us? Uh, uh, what he said is, I hate my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard, too. There are a lot of Americans that understand the value of hunting. But we all know that right now, national support of hunting is extremely volatile. It seems that with every passing day, our voice is diminished and the court of public opinion is not effectively hearing our side. We need advocates working on our behalf in Washington, D.C. to defend our freedom to hunt. And thankfully, when we need it the most, we have that advocate in Safari Club International. 
SCI's world headquarters are located in Washington, D.C., just blocks from the United States Capitol, which means that SCI is on the ground with our congressional leaders and federal agencies on our behalf, on behalf of the hunting community. SCI has an active political presence in all 50 states through their extensive chapter network and government affairs staff. If you have ever wondered why you should be a member of SCI, you shouldn't wonder anymore. Join us in the fight to defend hunting. Go to safariclub.org to learn more. Huh. So you girls were so wild. I did not know that you were uh, married. She tells this every time we go. Places. I did not like, know that Jen was married was to Narissa's brother. Yeah. And I was like, oh, these girls. This girl's dancing on the table. <laughs> we have pictures. And I'm like, I, I, I'm out. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing at night. I'm staying away from them. We were going home together. <laughs> we were going home together. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. Like, I'm like, I ain't going out with them. But and you know I hear what's stories funny. like. Like you're dancing and wild, and, but, but that's it's safe. that's how I grew safe. up. Yeah, like yeah. we grew up in a generation where, with my dad, like we danced every night in the living room. Mm-hmm. Like there was nothing wrong. We had cocktails once we got older. Uh, my dad's still a party animal. He's mm-hmm. like almost seventy, mm-hmm. and um, he thinks I'm an old lady now because <laughs> you're mine. Because <laughs> I just yeah, I'm such a. I don't even drink. I haven't drank in two and a half years. And um, That's I know what you do though in your twenties. Yeah. You get crazy. Yeah. You do stupid things. Now we're in our forties and well. Now we're just 30. crazy. Yeah. Yes. Now we're just and fun and we've yeah. done it. We've yeah. done so much cool stuff. I remember with this one, um, we were in Zimbabwe <laughs> and. And we watched <laughs> the Morgan. sun come up in yeah. Zimbabwe and we were taking selfies and I was like, that's what we look like right now. You missed it. No, wait, there's a larger part of this. I hated you guys. <laughs> we she were watching us. the sun come up because we had never gone to bed. That's what that's she that, what, yes, that's what I meant. Because heart. we that had drank every single person there under the table. Yeah. And it was only the two of us. It left. happens. Yeah, it was. Great. When are you in Zimbabwe listening to the coyotes howl? The hippos. I mean, the, not the, the coyotes. They were the um, hippos. The jackals. The yeah. jackals. Jackals. And were the howling. hippos were coming into camp. I had shot a hippo. Rubbing on our huts in yep. the middle of the night. It like, was so cool. Of Open course, you're gonna stay huts. up and experience this. Yeah, it was so awesome. I hated them. I was so, trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm an old were. lady. So I go to we bed early charged. All the time. We charged this boombox on a battery. <laughs> 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 and then we like rocked out all night and everybody was there and they were like you girls are crazy and we were just drinking and then it was just the two of us watching the sun come up we together. had jackal Aww. calls on that remember yeah. we would turn it up and they would we'd call and they'd respond like all she came the out night. And yelled at us <laughs> No, you didn't. And we yes. were also howling, like yeah. pretending to be well, a jackal. Well, that's what I'm talking well, about. Like, I've seen you literally crawl across the floor. Like, <laughs> you're we're crazy. <laughs> like, you're a, a wild time. animal. That hasn't changed. Listen, uh, you no, don't, I don't you need to drink. are a wild animal. Yes. I don't need to drink to have a good time. No, neither do I. No, me I don't either. either. I don't anymore. anymore. Your wedding. I was stone cold sober. And I had, uh, literally, I was just telling your husband this earlier. It was my kind of my first event with all my friends sober, and I'd been sober for almost two years or, um, at that point. And I walked out, and I was like, looking around, I'm like, everybody's hammered. I can dance. Nobody cares what <laughs> nobody I look like. Nobody cares. And we were singing, rapping. Oh, Narissa was yes. rapping. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> totally dancing and i have we need so to much insert fun. a clip right here yeah insert clip of uh narissa rapping yeah. please yeah. just do it and From me chugging wedding. a bottle of champagne <laughs> oh yes <laughs> you were singing you were on yeah. stage yeah. it was, so was awesome. awesome i was not i remember that, that little white dress yeah too. oh yeah was real guy oh, yeah. yeah that was four sizes ago <laughs> <laughs> free baby <laughs> You'll get it back. You'll yeah. get it back. We'll get it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it back. That's what they all say. Yeah. We're going for it, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm try. And I'll tell you what, Bo, uh, no matter what, I will say this season of my life with my kids is 
absolutely hands down the best. And just like me, you're probably going to bring the kids into everything. Like my kids are on my digital series now. They do everything. They've been places with me, traveled on hunts. It's really hard now that I have two and a nanny to take all of us. Oh, man. It gets a little spending. Well, well, today, RMEF, we were talking about this. They invited me on this hunt, elk hunt. And we they were go. like, are we going this year? Because I'm having the baby this year. And I'm like, 100%. Like, let's, no question. Let's do a survey. How many people think Morgan's actually going to go on the elk hunt this year with a <laughs> two-month-old baby? Let's do positive yes or down no. So let's do thumbs yeah. up for yes. Let's, yeah. let's do no. story okay, time. Let's just yeah. vote on this now. And then what we're going to yeah. do is we're going to do a sweepstakes later on. <laughs> <laughs> story time was Nerissa and I, I was just like you, I traveled everywhere. I did everything. And like what we were traveling, I don't know, 10 countries a year. And so when I got pregnant, I had planned an elk hunt. Funny She's enough. Like, I'm not changing. I'm not changing it. I'm going to be I'm, my same self. I'm going to go hunt. And I'm going to still do all my things. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> that's exactly Which what I said. Which sounded exactly like you. Yeah. you. Yeah. And I literally, Olivia was two months old. And in four months was the um, hunt. And Nur's like, you better cancel that. And I'm like, no, no. And she's like, you, Jen, you're not going. And I'm like, I know. <sighs> and it, and I just, I couldn't. And honestly, my outfitter was so amazing because he has four daughters. And also breastfeeding. It, you're going to be like, <laughs> it just, it, it, it's going to be Well, it depends where they take you. You might be able to make it work. Just, but just elk calling. We still haven't been on that hunt. We still haven't been on that hunt. We're going this year. I know, but it's taken like four years. Well, I had two babies she keeps and COVID. Ha- she COVID keeps happening. having kids. She's like, I'm going to do that <laughs> elk hunt. I am. I'm going to do am. it, but I keep having babies. <laughs> well, COVID happened because we were supposed to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Chloe is 19 months old, and so she'll be two and three months, four months. And so, Dad, you're fine when they get older. You just... Just pause. I'm gonna moment. go. I'm gonna go two I'll, months after I pop we'll them out. See. I'm gonna take we'll them on see. the elk hunt. We'll, well see. I could see that. I could see if Andrew. Andrew is the team. Andrew yeah. before Morgan married him, he was team uh, like our uh, team boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's so awesome. he took over everybody. <laughs> similar to my husband. Yes, mm-hmm. they're very both. Both of them are very similar in nature. Of like, if you need yeah. something, yeah. Andrew would be there 100. percent And same with with my husband. So they're team. Yeah, they're also all twins. Um, he yeah. he says, God, I love Yogi so much. I said, you love Yogi mainly because you don't have to wrangle us alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another babysitter that you have helping fact. you. Yeah, fact. Yeah, fact. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so, so good. so true. Whatever. Oh, I have been out of town um, at shows, and Andrew and I will go have dinner together. Oh, yeah. Like, he is, he's like another brother. Yes. Yeah. He's just amazing. We love him. I saw his jacket today, by the way. I was like... Just cause keep petting yeah, you. I'm like, Waylon would have worn this. Suave. And he had his little pin on. And I was like, I love that. He's also in the industry. So it's easy yes. when we're yeah. at these shows. Yes. He's there working. He works for Century and Canic. And he's he's doing his thing during the day. So we visit him he's when we're in between meetings and then at night hang out together. So yeah, it's 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 nice having this. Like It is like yes. a family. Mm-hmm. Totally. A big family is. out here. Yeah. And I'm so glad we're all here. We we convinced Narissa to come because yes. it's her birthday and we yes. love her and we can't do this without you. Yeah. But Morgan, yeah. why are you here? Why am I here at Shot Show? Hmm? <laughs> why don't we talk about why you're here? <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you some context because I know <laughs> she's trying to call me out. <laughs> why are you here, Morgan? I have my own marketing company for ten plus years. Um, I recently am all in the music business side, but I still consult on the outdoor industry side. And I still take on jobs every now and again. So I did have a couple meetings. They could have been virtual though. I was going to say, <laughs> the main, that ain't why you're here. The main <laughs> reason I came was to A, see my sister, <laughs> and then B, eat all the food in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Go on all the dinners. <laughs> is that so wrong? No, because your man, he books... He is so good. He will book his dinner reservations for his clients three months in advance, and he picks good restaurants. We are not talking about going down to Chick-fil-A on the Strip, okay? He picks 
five star. Like you're eating. You had ribeye steak last night. Listen, mm. I work for my dinner. I'm the ringer. Like all of, his, <laughs> all of his clients love me. Like I love them. Yeah. He he builds a relationship with the clients and he like takes them out to like celebrate yeah. what they've done that year. And I'm like, let's celebrate. Okay. <laughs> Bring the seafood tower. <laughs> We have a good time. <laughs> I'm working for it. I'm working. You like working. you got some horseradish for that cocktail sauce? <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, I've oh. always been a food foodie. Yeah. But now with this baby, I'm like, let's bring it on. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. And the food yeah. here in Vegas is it's like so is to, good. Oh. We actually had dinner last night at like 11 o'clock. Jen was in bed. Oh, I was in bed at nine. Yeah, we we're eating dinner at like 11 o'clock last night. Oh my That's gosh. Just Do you know what I did? I ate lettuce wraps while watching Netflix did you like on the them? bed. They needed a little bit of sauce. <laughs> did you? Do you where sauce. were they from? Didn't, didn't, mine didn't you get didn't come sauce. with mustard or anything. No. Where were they from? The Grand Lux Grand downstairs. Lux. Okay, maybe I'll grab something from oh, there. But so good. Yeah. tonight, I'm probably doing the same thing. <laughs> That's what I did it two nights in a row. The yeah. lettuce wraps down okay. there. Okay, so easy. Good. I'm gonna go get them. Yeah, yeah, do you remember? Do. This is so random. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a saucy gal. I love sauces. Me do you too. guys remember we would hunt Africa? All the sauces. They <laughs> yes. Had. Like that's a core memory. Wait, we I don't s- remember we, my kudu We took hunt, sauces home. Did you? Yes. yes. We used to go to the grocery store. I didn't know store. that was allowed. Yeah. yeah we, we would, would go shop. to the grocery store and... I smuggled meat sticks. Um, <laughs> I did too. <laughs> the I way did. you just said that. Okay. I, do I you smuggled <laughs> meat. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you, you smuggle the meat, fact, Christy? <laughs> <laughs> How did you <laughs> smuggle <laughs> meat? Well, we used to get biltong. And yeah, that's stick that's it in our bag. Yeah, yeah we were all guilty of it. They would like have the dogs at the check-in, yeah. and I was like, Ooh, I don't have meat. Trouble. I don't have meat. <laughs> I don't have meat. We don't have sauces. But you know, they do have a different. Just the food is different it out is of the different. country, yeah. you know? Mm. I mean, we lived off so of good. sauces, especially when we went to the Congo and ate uh, disgusting <laughs> shriveled up potatoes. And <laughs> The bananas were cool, though, yeah. because they'd go in the jungle and they'd cut it, and then we'd have all these little baby bananas hanging fresh off the entire, like, branch. Yeah. Yeah. And then that that's what they survived cool. on was bananas. Because bananas. Well, to eat anything when else. we, Narissa, <laughs> the <laughs> camp was almost out of meat. And Narissa killed her bongo, and they actually took like this vinegar, and they put it in, and it was, um, it was like a way that they kind of you might know the meat. what is that? Do you know what that they put have vinegar ever... on it, and then we would eat it. It it's was like, like raw. What they do they with did ceviche. It, or they something. did it for us at, at uh, Vic Top. Yeah, when you got yes. your Eland. He he put. Yeah. Um, I'd never done it before. It was super cool. Yeah, we Were did it there. there. It yeah. was there. They was put yeah, olive oil. Early. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. They put olive oil, like like what is that? Gazpacho. Like yes. Very thin, mm-hmm. yes. Thinly sliced. Meat. Yeah. Olive oil, meat, raw meat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And some sort of acid, like a vinegar. Yeah. 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 It was like a vinegar. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. It was really good. So when good. we were in the Congo, though, it was. I mean, I that was my only time ever in a third world country. That was. A whole thing <laughs> where your government could just stop your flight, keep the money, and then you had to figure out how to drive through the jungle for 24 hours. <laughs> and nobody spoke the language because it was French. Jeez. And we had no interpreters. It was like held at gunpoint. Like yeah. that was one of the crazy yeah. kind of trips. I've been on a trips. sketch trip. Even Zimbabwe. Like Zimbabwe was sketch. Going through our clothes and like, oh, nice binos. And even like the bras, like nice bra. Did like, you forget? What the- are you going to do with that? Why do you want that? Have it. So Just weird. let us go. <laughs> Just Victoria's Secret. Did you, you guys forget it. the time where they plant the they ammo. planted yeah, yeah. around when I got mad? Yeah, that was Cappy the time told I'm me talking I needed to about calm it. down. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I told and you Narissa, two to run. I told Narissa. Two. Narissa grabs. I think it was a twenty dollar bill, yeah. American twenty. And she goes, "I'm gonna throw this at them." I'm going to grab our bags and you two run. run. <laughs> and we didn't have time to say no. We were like, what, 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 wait, wait, what? <laughs> and she had crumbled up the money, threw it at the authorities, grabbed the our police. bags. And was like, the, the police. police. <laughs> but they were the crooked ones. There. Well, yeah, yeah, They're yeah. all crooked. Right. There. So we're just like, yeah. okay. And we're running. Just get out of there. <laughs> and they didn't chase you. No. 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 They did steal my computer. They stole her computer. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's, that's the risk you take going to these countries mm. and... It's fun. Hunt, hunt Africa. I promise. <laughs> it's so say. much fun. It's so, so much fun. fun. It's real great. There's some good and some bad. <laughs> time of my life, though. That's good. Great memories. How are you on time? I just wanted to make sure I pressed record on that thing, okay? I'm just like, ooh, oh I better double gosh. check that, that thing down there. That would have oh been God. terrible. That would be, I would be fired. What else do we need to share? I just, 
just love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. I know. I, yeah. You guys, we have been so, through such a journey, and yeah. I, um, I, you guys are like literally like my sisters, mm. and I love you to my entire core and with same, my soul same, and same, my heart. Sis, same. And I was so scared of you at first. I'm so glad I got over <laughs> that. <laughs> We were that bad. Were we that bad? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> we weren't that bad. Well, no. you were just in a different place, I though. Was just, you know, yeah. it, it's hard when you're. It's hard when you're single in this business, yeah, and so that's business. one of the things. We were like like yeah. old married, a ladies. lot of girls, young women that have career aspirations. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> being friends with so many men, mm-hmm. I heard how they talked about the girls that had too much to drink and yeah. kind of made some maybe decisions that they shouldn't have done and they probably wouldn't have made those same decisions had they have not had so right. much to drink and there's yeah. a lot of that that you know we see in life yeah um and I man I just never wanted to be that you yeah. know I just wanted to really always be professional I didn't want to get to a place where I would ever feel like I mm-hmm. was putting myself in a compromising position or that somebody could talk yeah. about me the way yeah. I heard that's why you travel with your sister-in-law yeah. and your best friend yeah <laughs> yeah it you is. felt safe so you yeah. kind of let safe. your guard down and, and yeah. I've kind of been that way a little bit since I've been married where right. I've you know had yeah. some more you know I'll, I'll partake in adult beverages once in a while but um like yeah I mean it's just I just always was like so afraid yeah to have somebody say something like oh yeah like Christy doing this thing mm-hmm. last you night. have to be on guard a little bit yeah. and be strategic. she was riding the mechanical bull at Gillies we've all heard those <laughs> stories <laughs> I, I <totally> okay <laughs> we've all heard them <laughs> I totally did that. (laughs) Yeah. You're the person I'm talking about. (laughs) Exactly. I was like, I have no shame, man. I had fun. (laughs) And she was not doing it in a skirt. Okay. Well, she might have been. No, no. I had cowboy boots and jeans on. Okay. There we go. That's when I used to wear jeans. I now live in leggings. Uh, Every one of us is in leggings except Narissa. Well, she's in stretchy. They're stretchy. They're jeggings. They like, yeah. yeah. Get around that booty. I'm in maternity jeans, so half of it's stretchy. Oh, nah. I'm never coming out of these. No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm there, I mean, like Thanksgiving, I was like, these are fashion and function. <laughs> yeah. Grow yeah. as you go, pants. Yeah. Grow as you go. I love it. I don't care how small I get. I'm, I'm, these are yeah. we're not going uh, anywhere. What did I t- so, Morgan, I'm like texting her before. I'm like, listen, I still uh, I have some of this maternity clothes that – I wore for like two years after my pregnancy. They're cute dresses and they're loose in the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're flattering. They were super cozy and like three dresses and a pair of shorts. Of course, she's not being pregnant in summer. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I literally, so I had them all pulled out. And what did I do? I went and got a spray tan and I wore it. And I, I came down, John's all, oh, you look nice. I'm like, oh, it's my maternity dress. <laughs> <laughs> It works. They're cute. Yeah, whatever rolls. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of, like, we've got to figure out this, like, baby shower thing. <clears throat> we do. Like, I got to get a date on my calendar, okay? Yeah. I think it'll probably be around the same time we did the wedding. Like, like April. Okay. Or late March. I'll look at the calendar. Don't do the last week in March. I can't. I'm out. I can't do that. Okay. We could talk about this. We need. We have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we we have to collab. We, we got to collab on all of our schedules. Because I, Sorry, I can't make it that weekend, the third weekend of April. <laughs> but we can do it another time. <laughs> uh, I'll send you a gift. <laughs> no, it, that doesn't work. No, I know. It's. It, I feel so fortunate that we all made time out of our schedules and lives to be here and yeah. to reconnect. Yeah. And like, if one of us weren't here, it would not be the same. Mm-hmm. Love you no, guys. I agree. Thank, Thank you. you. And you true. know, it's yeah. like. It used to be a lot easier, but these days, like, you know, I'm in the music world way more mm-hmm. than this industry. Yeah, you're like a you're legit mommy. music executive, mm-hmm. like, professional, she's like, professional. adult job. She has a professional job. <laughs> <laughs> done, done, grew up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're pursuing other passions, yeah. too. Yeah. Mommy, you're hunting the whole world. I don't like, know what I do. It is, it yeah. is hard. I raise donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I'm the donkey tamer. <laughs> you do. Donkeys you and do. mules. Okay. Pause. Squirrel moment again. Can we set up a time where we come out, all of us, come out to your property yeah, and, like, ride your mules? And I just, like, want to be a cowgirl. Well, after you have the baby, you can do this. Okay. So, like, not this summer, but next summer. 
I want to go. You guys, nice. come. remember when Liv was just a little tiny yeah. baby, and you guys all came to my house, yep. and we had so much fun. That was so much fun. She was I in just, like we just onesie. found that video. Who just sent Wait, that video the other day? Uh, me and Olivia. So we was on Titus's brand new porch, and she was like naked. No, and oh, she was. Me, no, remember she peed? Did she pee in the house or was no? It on the she porch? peed on the porch, and the porch. and Morgan's like our nerve was hosing <laughs> it off, and we were out there at a dance party. Yes. She's dancing. Yeah, Ooh, Jen's so baby little. literally was running around naked and just peeing on everything. We were potty training like a feral so cat. I was yeah, giving she's her out there just peeing on the day <laughs> I was, remember i was giving her m&ms and then she'd go use the potty yes yeah. that was started the thing, it. a chocolate yeah. bribe it worked yeah. it worked because we'd struggled at home and so i brought i was like titus i'm bringing a potty into your house <laughs> i mean it's it was fine. like you've had it all yeah. so yeah that and then you're really like, cool. do you have dirt? I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay, because Liv likes to make mud pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> and she has this little mud kitchen and she I sets totally up. Did. And that kid just is like out in the dirt. Now, though, let's talk about transformation. Oh she gosh. went from peeing on my deck. To tell her, tell them about her like reaction to your hotel room. Oh, she's my little diva. I think What'd she's partner, Issa. So she is. I'm she totally very is. proud. So very proud. This kid, to, to just preface this, I am... I never look like makeup and hair anymore. <laughs> I'm like super tomboy and she'll be like. Okay, Jen, right now you're not dressed up. I'm not? You just have on makeup. Oh, okay, let I me just, my hair is done. Get, you're like, I never look like this. Okay, well, I'm I was like, dressed wait, hold up on here. You're not dressed up. You're okay. in leggings, a t-shirt, a baseball hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have makeup on. I okay. was dressed up earlier today, so I'm still feeling like I'm you carrying You feel dressed up. You're not. Okay. okay well. <laughs> just, Reality check. Just, just go back again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Never wear makeup. Always in a mom bun. And she'll tell me. She'll be like, hey, mommy, can we go? Can you can you try on one of your dresses? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I'll dress up on Sunday for church. This kid is in full on princess dresses, cowboy boots. She'll have a crown and accessories in her she loves words. Accessories. But then she's out with the goats and the chickens, yes, and she so rides cute. horses and totally dirty. But she is a princess, and she will tell you. So uh, yeah, we're Facetiming last night, and I'm downstairs getting my food. And she goes, "Mommy, can you Facetime me and show me your hotel room?" Oh, and I was like. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I said, I'll do that when I get upstairs because I won't have service on the elevator. So I get up here and I start FaceTiming her. <laughs> and she's like, I'm ready to see your room. <laughs> like, you're four and a half. And so I flip it around and she's like, ooh, the bathroom. Oh, look at your bathtub. <laughs> and then I'm doing the mirror and she's all, ooh, look at that. And she's like, so I walk around and there's two beds. And she she's goes, bouge. oh, she saw mommy. She saw, why is there so many beds? And I'm like, well, I'm with Auntie Christy and Yogi. <gasps> Oh, she loves loves yogi. yogi. <laughs> she has since what yeah. she was like three, yeah. and so then she's like, "Oh, okay." And then I come down and I'm showing her everything. She's like, "Oh, I just love it." I'm like, <laughs> didn't she want to take a bath? It's, oh, always. She loves the big baths. She, when we drive, she's so funny because she will play your song, but then she calls it. Auntie Christie's song. Auntie Christie's song. Wait, why? <laughs> yes. It's a she, new thing. She doesn't know. She gets it. No, she, she does. does. She gets she it because she knows you guys mixed com- up. Yeah. She thinks of you guys. She remembers. She's so, her memory, like, yeah. she'll, she, she remembers Hawaii. Yeah. All the time yeah. talks about like, it. Talk, I mean, her memory. Uh, maybe it's so because I'm getting old. So she gets you two, like, mixed up. Because yeah. we like, look alike. And yeah. hasn't Your hair. seen yeah. you guys yeah. as much lately. So it's probably morphing into one person in a kid's mind. Yeah. So that's what she'll say. Can yeah. we listen lately? It's been, can we listen to Auntie Christie's song? Yeah. Or she's just driving, singing. She was driving her Jeep, but I say, and she's like, let's ride. Oh, man, she gets crazy when we <laughs> rap. Does so you also crazy. call me Morgie, and you call her Christie. Morgie, uh, Christie. It's yes. close. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes we flip-flop who's blonde, who's brown. It is very confusing for me, too. We keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> that's right. Always. <laughs> I, I really thought it. I was dressed up still. No, nope, I'm nope. like, hold on. I'm still, I'm still feeling this. She's still there. <laughs> Leave it. Leave Sorry. It. Sorry. I'm done. I'm done. This was my idea, the pajama party here. Yeah. I'm just going to say, I was like, what is the best way to podcast? Okay. End of day. Shoes off on the couch mm-hmm. in our sweatpants. This is how we roll. This is, yeah. this is, yeah. I wish I could stay here all night and slumber I wish party. I could. Oh, guys. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm at 14,000 steps and my hips hurt. I'm totally <laughs> going to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm lady. ordering room service and, and some She's staying night in. Night I'm going to dinner. You know I'm going to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> 
get me down the seafood <gasps> Nerissa, tower. you should get dinner, and you and Jen should eat dinner together. I'm going to go get some lettuce wraps and probably chill. You should. Just yeah. come up here and chill yeah. in our room with Jen. Yeah. She, think, she ain't going nowhere. She wants to go to sleep. She wants to chill yes. out. She's always with people little people yeah you know what i mean i love my little people but oh man yeah. all the she more reason to hang with the adults why you yeah. can't no no i'm, I'm no no she doesn't want <laughs> I, don't. I i last night i was like i text christy i'm like i have white noise earplugs and i took a benadryl because i'm sick <laughs> and i'm like i'll see Ow. you guys in the morning no, you walk in the room it's all <laughs> oh it's amazing <laughs> and it's a weird sound i'm like what is it? yeah what i was, was like it? what is this it's sound? the airplane it's an airplane an it's airplane? Noise. Yeah, it's like the airplane sound like. Yeah, Yogi was snoring. I don't hear him snore because I. I die. woke up at three. You do. You and don't I move. heard him. Mm-mm. You're like, you're actually, you two sleep a lot alike. Yeah. Oh, not now that I'm pregnant. Mm. Oh. I'm all over the place. like a big old tornado. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrapping those sheets around you. They're whirlwinding. <laughs> I get the covers. Put them in between my legs and lock it down so Andrew can't have any. Uh-uh. Hey, you just wait. You Do you know what pillow. purchase I made when I was pregnant? Oh, that pillow. No. What? Ten thousand dollar bed. Oh, oh my gosh! I don't do it. it. I can't don't afford do that. It. I don't I, do it. No, it was the best. I could not get uh-huh. out of bed. No, I'm not kidding. Mm-mm. I sleep number. No. I, okay, I, I just want to time out here. Morgan and Andrew have been together for ten years. They just moved in together <laughs> post marriage. <laughs> they did not shack up. They literally That's what my mama just told me moved to do. moved in together. I mean, how many people date for 10 years and have separate homes? I thought they were going to get divorced instantly because they moved in together. I'm like, this is going to be the end. <laughs> A lot of couples therapy. <laughs> A lot of couples therapy. Let me promote mental health. <laughs> it ain't easy. I'm telling you. Like, that was, like, the biggest shocker. You guys went from, like, literally Andrew's house was, like, a mile away. And Andrew's yeah. going to drive over to Morgan, see Morgan. I'm like, wait. you. At first, I was like, wait, you, you've been together for seven years. You don't live together? No. No, he is asked down the street. She said it's a good We idea. like our okay. space. We like our space. All right, but I'm also from North Carolina. Good Southern Christian girl. I can't be telling. So if let's, I told my, let's talk if I about. I told my family. I was shacking up with shacking a man. Shacking up, and I was not married. Your grandma would. Oh, oh that's the scarlet letter right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> You've been living in sin. That's right. <laughs> Hey, you guys, if you're like me, you are totally dependent on OnX Hunt for nearly everything from hunting, navigating backcountry roads, even real estate. But being an elite member with OnX has so many benefits that you guys are going to want to take advantage of if you're not already doing so. For example, you're going to have access to all 50 states plus Canada with tons of valuable resource, landowner information, and you're also going to get added benefits like draw odds with top ret that will help you with all of your application seasons and benefits through hunting full magazine and to boot you guys they've got tons of great specials through partners like silencer central where if you're an on x elite member you really benefit from those partnerships so if you guys aren't a member i encourage you go online to the on x hunt website use code wild 20 at checkout and you're going to save 20 percent you're going to love being an Onyx Hunt Elite member. All right, so let's talk about this uh, adjustment period. What kind of adjustments have you had to make hmm. after dating a man for 10 years and finally living with him? Has this been a weird <laughs> trend? Yeah, real personal here. <laughs> we, we cohabitat differently. Like, he is messy, cluttered. I am. Pull that more towards your mouth. There, there you go. You're worried about can breathing. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can't <laughs> yeah, She's worried about the breathing. <laughs> she's, she's, I'm breathing heavy with the pregnant belly, and I don't want to be like, <sighs> Darth Vader. ASMR. <laughs> Ooh, that might get a lot of views, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag like, ASMR. <laughs> okay, sorry. Pregnancy. So you cohabitate different. Yeah, he's just messy. And I'm, I'm super sure clean. That's what my husband says about me. <laughs> but here's the thing. Now that I'm in his house, it's his house. Like, we just bought a house together, but it's being renovated. So we haven't moved into our Our house. house. It's still his house that I'm living in now. Yeah. 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 So you know when it's like, it's somebody else's house? I don't care about the mess. If it's my house, I'm like, I'm cleaning it up. But it's like, it's his mess. No, it's his mess. I'm okay. 
it's going to be a whole different story <laughs> in when our we move house. Into our house, but he's a good guy. He cleans he's up. Amazing. He cleans up because he knows that I want that. So he's getting better. But he also, I don't cook. I'm like hashtag girl dinner, <laughs> like a couple really? almonds, a cheese stick, a random date that I find, a cracker, you no know, shit. olives, like Uber I, Eats. Yeah, I'm just girl dinner. To the nth degree. He calls it laziness. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. But he cooks for me. So oh. I tolerate a lot. It's yeah. like choose your battles. I'm not going to choose to battle about that pile of clothes on the floor when you just brought me a, a steak. bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich in the morning yeah. with orange juice and my prenatal vitamin. Like, Dude, I cook more. three meals a day. Yeah. You, you just, I would keep that cooking. Keep him cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the... Oh my God. Brian He's cooks every dinner. I, yeah, I was, so, I was you don't really? cook? Brian cooks every dinner. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I Roll cook three reversal. meals a day, people. Yeah. I've, I've spoiled. For three people. Well, breakfast not for John, but. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Talk about roll reversal. <laughs> I know. Yeah, for We sure. go out in the field and hunt, and we come home, and our man makes us dinner <laughs> and has it warm on the table. <laughs> 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 Welcome to 2020 Bar. <laughs> Okay, wait. Who cooks for out of you guys? You and Yogi. Uh, yeah, we both cook. Yeah, okay. we both cook. It's it just depends. I do not make coffee, so I don't do nothing. Actually, in the Yogi said yeah this morning. Oh, I should have brought you guys coffee. I was like, I'm in for that. Yeah, no. Normally, <laughs> like I do not do anything. He brings me coffee. Oh, yes. What I'm so good about that. Like oh. even today, Riza was laughing because we're in the RMEF booth, and he's like prepping my water for me, and she's like. Is he prepping your water for you? I'm like, yes, he is. <laughs> and he carried my bag because yeah, I had two bags. That's good. What a man. Yeah. yeah. But we both cook. I like cooking. He enjoys cooking. He's a very good cook, so mm. I'm lucky. Yeah. I hate the dishes. Me yeah. too. I like to cook. I don't do the dishes. He does the dishes. I do not do dishes. I hate dishes. Yeah. I don't want to do a dish. <laughs> he does the dishes, so that's nice. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's why I had children because... They're going to do the dishes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that, I, that's yeah. a long training program. I know, I know. It's like a long time. It's a long training program. I got like three yeah. more years. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah you I do. started like at toddler phase. I'm yeah. like, here, go put away your dishes. That's- I come from a long line of farmers, and my grandparents like said it unabashedly. We're like, oh, yeah, we had kids so they can work on the farm. Like workers. Oh, that's the point of children. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, it was like tobacco farming. Yeah. See, I don't have a farm like that's productive, so I don't have to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just little doggies. But you and no. Yogi. <laughs> My husband is on the verge of divorcing me right now. <laughs> because of the dogs. I totally Well, that. so here's the story. This Uh-oh. is the real 411. We're going to talk about uh, it openly here. Okay. We're going there. My Zoe died. Yeah, mm. I know. I loved her. She was my tiny was white cute. dog. Yogi says affectionately, you could not tell the front end from the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she had her collar on. True. Okay. And it, she it was one of those little white Maltese dogs. They're, as they age, they get slightly less attractive. <laughs> her their mouth was smells bad. Their tongue hangs out permanently. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But you love them. And she passed away. Actually, Narissa, yeah, mm-hmm. Narissa, thank God for you. Oh, my oh, gosh. You carried me through that terrible time. Yeah. Well, I just lost my dog. So I, mm. I understood. Yeah. yeah. But I got that little dog when I was 27, 28, somewhere mm-hmm. there. And I wanted mm-hmm. a baby. So like a couple years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like okay. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted a baby so bad. So I got that little dog and I loved her. And then when she passed away, it's been very sad. And I feel like my arms are empty. Mm. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. I miss my little dog, and I cried for, like, three months. Poor Yogi. It was mm-hmm. good that he wasn't home for the first week because mm-hmm. it was not – I was not – it no. was not good. Mm-mm. And then I would just sob hysterically, and he would just hold me at the end of the bed. Like, Aww. I have no idea what to do right now because my wife is just, like, hysterically sobbing over this dog that I'm actually glad is gone. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, like – He's, like, rolling his eyes. He's, like, true. Stop. You know what I mean? Like, it was horrible for me, but it, rejoicing time for him. Oh. and. And my, I, I miss, like, I have a big dog. I love my big dog. He's great. But when I say, mama, want to hold you, like, baby, he's the same size as me. <laughs> like, I can't snuggle and hold and pack. Mama, want to hold you yeah, like baby. Yeah, no, I say that to him. I swear to God, I say, mama, want to hold you like baby. And he comes and he'll sit in front of me. Aww. And then I'll just wrap my arms around him. Aww, and then, because he, Christ I used there. to hold him and pull him back in, into Aww. my arms like a little infant, you know. And he's so big, he can't 
fold back like an See, infant. See, that maternal instinct. I'm telling you. And so even the, he, yeah. What so you're saying is we she needs need a, a new little baby puppy or you and Yogi need to procreate and make the baby prettiest baby on the planet. There's a third <laughs> but, but I will tell you, I I know you guys say you don't want kids, but Yogi is so good, good with, with my kids. kids. He's great yeah. with oh, kids. He's my great gosh. with kids. He is good uh, with Olivia, Olivia adores him. Yeah. They were in Hawaii with us, and she would get shy, super shy. shy. Because he was just so, yeah, and then she'd warm up and then but go. Then the, but then she was like sitting on his lap yeah. and like right looking at the into end. his eyes. I know. Like, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> He's a good It's her man. auntie in her. <laughs> she loves me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Listen, yeah. she saw the storybooks, all the princes. Yogi is a good looking man. Yeah, he's good looking. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky. So, she's smart. Yeah. But yeah, so Yogi basically said that if I get this little dog, um, he's moving out. <gasps> Wait, you're getting a dog? I'm not allowed to. <gasps> uh oh. So we're talking about it now. We've been talking about it, and he does not want baby Frankie. Oh, we should do oh. a vote. Okay, let's Frankie? have everybody. Let's do have a the thumbs viewers. up for baby Frankie. Baby Frankie. <laughs> I'm all for baby Frankie or, or Frankie or keeping Yogi around. Oh, yeah. Well, that too. Uh, Can we have both? <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> he's sweating over here. He's sweating. I'm sweating for you. <laughs> he's sweating. He's I've like, I really. All day. I was sweating all day. This, this all is like a 15 year commitment. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we are in life. Wait. Uh, Nerve was up there before, oh, like God, waving at her armpit, pitting. Us. She had to go guys, wash her armpit. Honestly, Let's do it. This is what happens when you get to this age. You went from in our friendship. You went from flashing to hot flashing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when were you flashing? I was never. I <laughs> can't see that. No. I was never. She's, She's not never flashing. No, but I am having a hot flash right now. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> I've been having a hot flash all day. Honestly, I have been warm all day, and I've been. And you're usually always cold. And I'm always freezing, mm-hmm. so I know it's hormones. Uh, Welcome to this age. Oh, 46. And did you see she like discreetly went towards the pit just there? <laughs> don't She's blow like, that mess over here. <laughs> I don't want your so a pregnant lady, she got real sensitive <laughs> nose. Oh, yeah. No. She'd be like, you, you know, it's <laughs> like a do- it's like a bloodhound. You don't nose. have, yeah, I know. Oh. You don't have underarms. You have onion arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, hashtag onion arms. <laughs> you, will, you will know oh with God. your nose and your taste buds. Narissa came over to my house yeah. and we opened these strawberries. I think she'd brought them or they were in my fridge and I took a bite and I'm like, Ooh, and I spit it out and she's sitting there chomping on it. And I'm like, that's moldy. She's all, no, it's not. It's fine. Next day covered in mold. Like your senses. You could taste them. That, I could the taste mold, it. The pre-mold. Before. Yes, it was the pre-mold. Oh, the pre-mold. Taste pre-mold. Pre-mold. Pregnant women is like this crazy mom sense. Do you feel like, you have, like your senses are? No. Smell. You don't? Oh, I did. Oh, smell. yeah, you could smell the ganja in the hallway. We're in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, somebody is smoking. My baby is getting high. <laughs> Y'all need to cool it down, Vegas. <laughs> Your baby's oh, getting when born I would, with a little raspberry. When I was cry. pregnant, I was like walking through like this because okay. the smoke. You some time. No, it's been, I've been blessed. Like no, um, no, what do you call it? Uh, morning sickness, no oh nausea. I've had energy the whole time. I mean, a couple of weeks, I was just a little bit more tired. I think that was because I quit caffeine mm. in the beginning, which I'm was hard so to I'm so sorry. I, Diet that. Coke is my best friend. Me, it was me too. And Coke Zero. And Unless just, it's Diet Dr. Pepper and I like that even coffee, better. Coffee, 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 coffee. Like I, the first week was having ridiculous migraines, was falling yeah. asleep at three o'clock. But after that, like, I get energy. Even, like, I'll have a decaf cup of coffee, and that only has, like, a few mm-hmm. milligrams. Which you're fine. W- but I feel it now. Like, Let's I'm really talk about how damaging is caffeine to the baby. I, I, first pregnancy, I did what she did. Second pregnancy, I had one cup a day. I was going to ask you, did you have fizz? Did you have fizz? I did fizz or one cup. I would only do, do one. what you know. you're comfortable with. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like I think nothing in extreme. Nothing. In she a is a geriatric pregnancy, so she's got to watch out for that. Well, yeah. I mean, I've just, so many of my friends have <laughs> <Yeah>. experienced. <laughs> like, I started at 40. <laughs> she's fine. Well, a lot of my friends have experienced, like, having problems having getting pregnant and miscarrying. Mm-hmm. Like, it's yeah, so. Yeah, you don't want to risk it. Yeah. It's, it's scary. And this is my first. So it was like, you know, I'm going to just give it all. I'm Wait, not going to worry. Said first as if there could be a second. No, I'm just saying, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh. I just don't know what I'm doing. I felt, I felt like there was a pause there. Like, this is my oh, first. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> Pump the brakes but on this one. But you always, like, I was 
completely like even with my second pregnancy, everything scared me Mm -hmm. because you are literally growing a human inside of you. I, I've truly, I was living in fear for a minute because anything and everything could happen. mm -hmm. And I just gave it to God because I was like, I can't do nine months. And then after Mm -hmm. that, like, is my baby breathing? Like I can't live. You're still probably going to do that. I know. I know. But I, I fight it (laughs) every day of like, because here's one thing. Like, nobody ever talks about this stuff, but I'm learning. Like, I have an interior placenta. Immediately, mm-hmm. all the guys just sign off. She said placenta. <laughs> <laughs> interior. <laughs> interior placenta. Didn't even know what that meant. It's, I still don't know what so it means. So every pregnancy is different. Like, one woman can have two kids, and the placenta can be on the front. And mm-hmm. then the next time, the placenta can be behind the baby. So if it's on the front, then my placenta is right here, and the baby's behind it. So what's happening is like, I don't feel movement as much. Mm. So for a while, I didn't feel any movement, which was also scary. Mm -hmm. And I'm not having like any symptoms really. So I'm like, am I pregnant? I mean, I'm not eating sushi just in case. But like, (laughs) I just said, I'm not going to worry the whole time. I'm not going to live in a constant Mm -hmm. state of that. And I committed to that. Even like afterwards, you know, breastfeeding can be really hard for people. And we're Mm going to try but I'm also not going to beat myself up over it if I can't, you know what I mean? I'm just going to do this thing, like go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that for sure that that's the right thing to do mm-hmm. is not stress myself out. Yeah. It's no different than out. the hunting that we were talking about. You do you yeah. like so many people with mom life. They're like, oh, it has to be this way. And I've always been like, I just do what works for my kids and my family. And I don't really care what anyone else thinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. Period. Yeah. Just like, like wearing makeup hunting. Yes. Like, you know what? And shooting animals with pink on. We're playing uh. flamingos. <laughs> just or do your, let your do kids your be your kids and you do them the way you want. Yeah. yeah. No judgment totally. zone. Yeah. It's so. the best way to be. Mm-hmm. That's good humans. Hell Although. No. Oh, gosh. Talk about no judgment. I'm judging the smell coming from you right now, Narissa. <laughs> <laughs> onion <laughs> Gotta go take a shower. <laughs> Why am I craving French onion soup all of a sudden? Ew. That's disgusting. So <laughs> it's the maybe, pregnant nose. It's maybe I am heightened. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> if you start licking her arm, we're gonna have a problem. Sorry, you guys. This is what happens. I can't this is tell like you. un what is it? Unrated. Uncut. Uh, uncut. Wild and uncut. Wild and oh, uncut. You guys were my first podcast. Well, you weren't it was there. Me and her. You two were my first podcast. Yeah. yeah. It was their second trip. Morgan came the first trip. Yeah. We came the second. You were busy. You were We did a podcast together it. in Oregon, but I, that wasn't your first. When I was there and we were shooting the shoot house and No, we didn't podcast there. We did something all together in the, your living room with your cool fireplace. Oh, yeah. That was filming. Oh, we're filming. No, we oh. filmed. We, we filmed. filmed. Mm-hmm. The oh. only podcast you and I have done was a shot show here. We also did the Well Armed Woman at the oh, time. Well, that was oh, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was work work casting. That yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, this is a way better podcast than our first podcast we did, Morgan, here. Was it? Well, I, we I were, don't like, professional, go back. like, in... Uh, You're like in your office outfit and stuff. Like oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure we've talked Suit. about dancing on tables, anterior <laughs> placentas, breastfeeding, sorry, onion uh, armpits, onion armpits, armpits, hot flashes, uh, Yogi leaving Christy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've, covered we've, we've covered it all. We've covered it all. Filling the tea. Yeah. We've covered it all. There this you is go. pretty much it. This is it. Wild and then good. <laughs> I don't think there's really anything else to say at this point. No. no. This is welcome to your 30s and 40s, ladies. <laughs> this is yeah. us. This is trade yeah. show season. Now we all have to. Well, not we all. No. I have to get dressed up and go to dinner. Mm-hmm. I do, too. I'm getting Don't dressed down. Oh, yeah, because Morgan I'm and I, I'm going to too. sushi samba tonight, okay? Don't you dare mm. talk about sushi right now. It's, it's so a, good. That's a soft mm. spot for me. I can't eat it. Sushi. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to eat. I'm going to crush some sushi. Mm. I hate so you right good. now. That, they have like this tasting menu that's amazing. If you don't stop talking, stuff. I swear to God, mm. I'm going to put her armpit in your mouth. <laughs> 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 and that's how we're going to end this podcast. <laughs> Hashtag armpit mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in uh, with me and my crazy best friends, yes. my sisters, the women that I absolutely love and cherish and would not be anywhere that where I'm at today without them. Also, thanking our sponsors. Yes. Mm. We've got our presenting sponsor, Ruger, which we love, our Ruger Firearms, our Ruger family. We love Ruger. Safari Club International. Yes. And on X, 
hunt. You guys, I got discounts, okay? So yes. you want to go <laughs> onto my website, PursueTheWild.com, yes. click the discount tab. Discounts. And discounts. get those discounts. <laughs> <laughs> discounts. I don't even Ladies, know. how does everybody follow you? Don't oh, follow. Don't follow. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't. I will follow these two. Don't follow. Don't follow. We're not influencers. Don't they are. Them. GWG Jen on Instagram. Jen O'Hara, Girls with Guns Clothing. Carbon TV. Carbon TV. Living outdoors for yeah. the digital series. Yeah. I only stay on Instagram, and I never post. I'm just in my stories. I'm hilarious in my stories. <laughs> so if you want to hop in there, it's at Morgan Mills Music on Instagram. If you yeah. slide into her DM, okay. Don't you dare. Don't, you dare. don't slide into her DM. <laughs> don't you do that. Unless it's hashtag on your mouth <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll know okay then we'll know you give a give a I handle hope somebody comes in oh, there i'm nourissa Harmon. that's it give a Instagram. handle that's Nur- it nourished <laughs> oh no nourissa Harmon is good at Narissa Harmon. N- at Narissa Harmon. Is that even real? Is that your that handle? That is. It is I her changed handle. It, yeah. You got your first and last name? Yeah. Do, do people wow. even really know well, your Well, I name? mean, Narissa's kind of like unique, right? GWG Nur. I mean, it, that's it, what we know. Yeah, that's what it was. And I changed it to Narissa Harmon. She's in a different season now, ladies. Yeah, okay. I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm okay. evolving. You got mold <laughs> growing under here. <laughs> <I think. laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. When conditions get tough on a mountain hunt, your gear must be tougher. Making every opportunity count means selecting equipment that will not fail. Any condition, anywhere, Hornady Outfitter ammunition is designed to perform. Available in a wide range of cartridges from 243 to 375 Ruger. When you're looking for a hard hitting, deep penetrating bullet and cartridge that performs in the most rugged environments, look no further than Hornady Outfitter ammunition. Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.